Last July, during a meeting, Burlington City Council unanimously decided to rename Ryerson Park. They put the call out to residents to submit names. 500 names were suggested, narrowed down to four finalists. And yesterday, City Council decided to call it Sweetgrass Park. It was a great feeling on Council. I think it was important that we um, took into consideration the opinions and thoughts across the community. And one of the very first things we decided was that we were going to move forward with choosing a new name that was not going to be named after a person, that we were actually going to do some work and potentially change the bylaw in Burlington. Now, this hasn't happened yet, but we're looking at changing the bylaw to change that criteria because the reality is, is that you might name a, a public asset after a person with what you know at the time and then public opinion changes, culture changes, perception changes and then you end up in a situation like we did with Ryerson Park. They narrowed the finalists down to Unity Park, Truth and Reconciliation Park and Head of the Lake Park after the historic name of this treaty land. A fourth name was added by an Indigenous advisor. Because he said in the Indigenous community in southern Ontario, sweet gas grows, it's a healing plant in the community and that he told us the story of that one blade of sweet grass is not very strong, but when you braid them together, it's that unity that makes it strong. And that to him really spoke to that concept of unity. And we all loved that story. So we added that fourth name in to the short list, sent that back out to the community. And it came back. It was, it, it was definitely the forerunner, but it was tied very close behind to Unity Park. So it was either sweet grass or unity. And we thought they both kind of represent the same thing and let's honor our Indigenous consultant and our Indigenous community by choosing the Sweetgrass one. That consultant was Indigenous Elder Stephen Paquette. He said, the renaming of Ryerson Park to Sweetgrass Park was one part of a journey of healing. It was rooted in the spirit of the truth and reconciliation. The process took into account that we need to look at history beyond a singular Eurocentric perspective. It was a learning process for all of us, and I want to extend my appreciation to the City of Burlington staff for making this all come together. A private donor is also hoping to fund a path within the park. With some educational placards along it that speak about this process, to speak about Egerton Ryerson and some of the positive things he did do for the education system and to speak about truth and, truth and reconciliation and to speak about the process of why we thought it was important to change the name and why we chose that name. And the path's going to hopefully lead to a rock garden of indigenous plants and actual sweet grass so that people can kind of remember the story about why we got there in 2021. Now, similarly renamed was the former Ryerson Public School, which is right adjacent to the park. Last November, the Halton District School Board renamed it the McQuendam Public School. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.